and more consumers are looking for local foods, and often they're willing to pay a little bit more for it. Yet the problem is stores can't seem to get enough to meet demand. Depends on where you are in the country. In California, obviously, there's a lot more local than there is in Iowa. According to a recent annual study on local foods by A.T. Carney, ripe for grocers, the local food movement, supply may be improving. But a significant problem still exists. Nearly half of U.S. grocery shoppers polled, about 47 percent, still cite products are not available at my retailer as their top reason for not buying more local food. However, for the third straight year, the 2014 National Grocers Association Supermarket Guru Consumer Survey report shows that consumers eat locally grown foods more than they eat organic. Consumers clearly want local, which explains why often when supermarkets have local produce and supply, they advertise it, promote it prominently. Whole Foods claims that 25 percent of its offerings are local. Its local loan producer program helps independent growers with about $10 million in low interest loans, and its produce signage declares states of origin, a bet that demand for local foods will persist. Indeed, its study states, sales of local food have increased an estimated 13 percent per year since 2008 and are now worth at least $9 billion. Many consumers want both fresh and local in categories such as fruit and vegetables, prepared foods, meat, fish, seafood, dairy, and eggs, and bread. The study adds that when asked, are you willing to pay at least 15 percent more for local, many said yes. A majority of consumers from high, middle, and low-income groups say they'd pay up to a 5 percent premium for local. So what's our advice? Food store operators may want to get on a first-name basis with nearby farmers. The demand is certainly there, and we need to define local so that there's no confusion at retail or in the consumer's mind. Thanks for watching today's Lemper Report, and be sure to subscribe so you'll never miss an episode. And visit supermarketguru.com for more information and more videos just like this.